Hey, so um, it's 6 in the morning, just had breakfast, all dressed up now and ready to go. Oh, by the way, I just I slept pretty l late last night because I ran into a problem. So I have this um, the X bike, which as you can see, the head tube is really short. And I have this uh, handlebar pack that just touches the front wheel. Um, does anyone have any good solutions to just help my handlebar back clear the front wheel? Because obviously when things start bouncing around, it's not going to help as well. I've uh, already adjusted the stem upside down to be a plus 17 degrees, but apparently still not quite enough. So yeah, any suggestions welcomed. And uh, without further ado, I'll just go to um, the train station right now. Right, hi. Um, so I just um, alighted the train in Hanford, which is a pretty, pretty bleak town. I guess there's not many people here, so um, I'll have to make do with it. Just had my bottle filled. Um, I just uh, born up, burn in, I think. Um, it's where I'll be staying tomorrow night as well. Um, I decided to hop off the cha train here instead of from wake because I thought I'd just give myself a little bit of um, uh, a warm up to riding to wake and the train branches off from Hamsdale anyways inland and there's a reason for it um, because up ahead you've got a big hill so <laughs> not so warm up ish thing um, but yeah we'll see uh, let's see how the legs are and uh, I'll catch you later Why the train branches off here? Such a big hill ahead. Uh, I'm already out of breath. This is much harder than I thought. So um, first 12 kilometers done and uh, uh, over 250 meters of climbing already. Uh, it actually feels alright, uh, well because it's the first day, uh, but I'm going to do the other way round back into Hamsdale tomorrow. So good luck with that. Um, yeah, averaging around 7-8%. The bike certainly feels heavy, and the rear end especially feels a bit um, agitated. This saddle pack here um, might need a bit more fastening. I'll have a look tonight. And the saddle and the handlebar bag, I finally had a solution for it. Um, I had a guy who was on... Uh, uh, be sure to check out his channel. I think it's uh, the most beautiful or most scenic um, railroad journeys in the world. He's doing a documentary and it gave me some zip ties, cable ties, that I was uh, able to secure my handlebar back. So there's plenty of clearance right now. But um, here, um, it does obstruct sh shifting into the big ring a bit. So I have to try a lot and very hard just now um, just to shift into the big ring but um, yes yeah, certainly uh, positive still trying to get to grips with uh, this heavy heavy bike 
Um, yeah, I'll catch you guys later. I, I forgot about the weather. Look, for once it's actually sunny Scotland. Um, no sarcasm involved. And, uh, oh, look at that. Beautiful. Um, weather is around 18 to 21 degrees. So pretty, pretty summerish um, for Scotland. But um, since there is quite a bit of wind, I'm gusting towards the coast onshore wind. So um, it's actually not too hot. Uh, but certainly need to uh, keep an eye on dehydration. Like this. Many hours later. Um, so first day, well, sh should I call it day zero? Ticked off. Um, just arrived at Wick uh, in Pala Gets Holes, which is a bit far away from the town centre. But um, there wasn't much to do anyways. So I uh, went for a quick tour around Lido, grabbed some recovery snacks and drinks, and then here I am. A uh, small and cozy room with a view to the harbour and of course it's windy, what do you expect? And so yeah, today is uh, whew, just to get to grips with, um, with the bike, with the handling and also, um, you know, I've got the new setup from last night which my negative 17 degree stem um, angled upwards instead was inverted today because um, apparently I can't get enough clearance for the um, for the handlebar bag and so yeah that took a while to solve but it's all good right now so um, 
Yeah, it's just a nasty climb out of Hamsdale and then um, just very exposed and windy, uh, head wind, slight yaw angle um, from the north, east to northwest, I think. So yeah, um, pretty tough journey. And then my front derailleur stopped working as well, um, which was stuck uh, in, in the small ring and can't shift to the big ring. And uh, staying in the small ring just seems to... Um, Sap away, sap away my energy quite a bit so yeah I'd advise against staying in the uh, in, in the small way small ring all right yeah <laughs> I'm a bit out of carb and not thinking straight right now so um, I'll do some replenishment and uh, fix my bike and uh, yeah we'll we'll catch you guys later